So, today I want to talk a bit, a little bit more about radiotherapy to treat late health disease. Uh, just a quick note that I'm not a doctor, and uh, much of the science here is actually based on my experience with cancer research rather than research into late health or the treatments. So, the cell uh, contains a nucleus, uh, amongst other things, and the nucleus contains DNA. This is a little bit about DNA. When you treat the cells with radiotherapy, the DNA gets hit with radiation. It causes DNA damage. In normal cells, uh, DNA damage will get repaired by the DNA repair machine. It's much more complex than this, and there's multiple different pathways for lots of different types of damage. Um, but ultimately, it gets repaired. This means the DNA goes back to how it should be, and the cell is happy. However, in fast replicating cells, like say cancer cells, as I'm baking this on, or potentially in depetrums or later host cells, you have added complications. Because the cells are replicating so fast, the DNA breaks are not repaired before the DNA replication machinery, for example, comes through the area which is damaged. And this leads to further complications and this leads to signaling that will cause the cell to stop growth so that this DNA damage can then be repaired. And this is in part how radiation treatment can work, amongst other ways. Um, but this could help explain the slowing of beta hose and depetrants after radiation treatment. Other methods have been proposed, so it can be that also um, I've seen one bit where uh, TGF beta, which is known to be uh, altered in these kinds of cells, um, it increases sensitivity to radiation. So this could also be a factor. And if you can't repair the damage before you get replication, this can lead to an unhappy cell. So does it work? So the results that I'm looking at here are the ones from chapter 50 of Dupuytren's disease and related hyperproliferative disorders. And um, so <clears throat> what they show is that in patients that have radiotherapy, 44% had a reduced number and or size in their nodule. However, impressively 90% of patients that had RT reported that they had an improvement with regards to symptoms, so pain, and only 7% showed progression. 83% who had pain on walking and 68% of those who had pain at rest said they had an improvement. So this does suggest slightly that the earlier it's done the better because I'm guessing that those that only have pain when walking are not as severe as those that have pain when at rest and there were better results in those that only had pain in walking compared to those that had pain at rest. It would be interesting to see what how the ones that showed progression, what happened to those. Are. I'm not sure whether they went on to have surgery or they had further radiation. And this is well, based on two sets of five days worth of radiation. So see the Depetrian Society for more information. And um, that's all.